Hi, I'm Craig Regsegger from Wood Magazine. In issue 188, we featured a three-table set in our basic build series. This is one of those tables, the end table. There's also a coffee table and a sofa table. And on each of the tables, there are legs with a nice set of tapers on them. You can see pretty easily on the bottom here, there's a short taper that comes up about six inches from the leg. Uh, what's more difficult to see is the long taper on the outside faces of the leg. It goes from about an inch and a half up here all the way to the end. Now the purpose of tapers is to simply reduce the bulk of legs and make the table look a little lighter, a little more attractive to the eye. And cutting the tapers is really quite simple. We've provided a quick and easy jig that shows you how to do that and I'm going to show you how that jig operates. This is a blank that, same as the uh, table legs here, and I'm going to cut it on this jig that's simply made out of scrap. The base, just a piece of MDF, got what's called a, a guide bar here, just another couple scraps of MDF stacked and glued together, and then two pieces of poplar that I pulled out of the scrap bin. This is a hold down and this is a stop here at the end. Now before I get to mounting the leg on, on the jig, you have to set up your table saw to make the cut. And that's simply a matter of putting the base of the jig next to your saw blade and bringing the rip fence over so it just touches this side of the jig. What I've done there is I've given myself a registration surface. Anything that hangs over this edge of the jig is going to be cut off the leg. The other thing you want to do on your setup is set an outfeed support outside the table saw. As you get through the cut, there's going to be a fair amount of weight hanging over there. It's going to tend to fall, so you want an outfeed support there so at the end of the cut you can let go and not have the jig and the leg fall onto the floor. Setting up the jig is really rather easy. First thing to do is to lay out your tapers on your leg. On the bottom here, you can see I've got kind of a tic-tac-toe pattern. This is the layout that's in three-eighths of an inch from each face. That's where the taper is going to begin on the bottom of the leg. You can see how that's where that's going to end up. Then along these two faces, which will be the inside, this is where the short tapers will end. On the other two faces up here toward the top, I've got a mark. That's where the long tapers will end. So they'll run from this point all the way down to 3 8 inch here. I'm going to start with the short tapers. To set up the jig, I align the mark right on the edge of the jig there and the mark on the bottom of the leg right on the end of the jig here. When both marks are on the edge of the base, bring this piece over and just place it gently against the back side of the leg. I need to hold that in place and screw it down. Just double check my positioning. Okay, that's good. Then the final step is to hold the leg firmly in place. That's where this hold down comes in. It swings over the leg, pinches the leg against the base of the jig. Now that leg is securely there and should stay in position while I make the cut. Make sure you use a zero clearance insert around your blade. You don't want the cutoff falling between the blade and the insert and kicking back. When you're ready to cut the second short taper, there's no need to reposition the fence. Simply loosen the hold down, rotate the leg a quarter turn, check that your marks are still aligned, and then tighten the hold down again. Now one thing to note here is you should complete the short tapers on all four legs before you move on to cutting the long tapers. When it's time to do the two long tapers, you'll have to reposition the guide.
When you're getting ready to taper the fourth side, you'll notice that the long taper you just cut rests below your hold on. That's where this rubber bumper comes in handy. It reaches down and pinches the leg tight to the base of the jig. So there is a leg with tapers on four sides. Now one thing to know about this jig, as you notice you reposition this uh, guide every time you need a taper of a different length. So really you can't consider this a permanent fixture in your shop. After a while it's going to get worn out, but it's very easy to make yourself a new one.